So we will talk about smart grid transformers. So self-regulated transformers, which you can put into a substation working autonomously. So first of all, we have a look at the grid, and this is nothing new to you. Um, so this is a, a, a schematic of the, of the grid from the left-hand side, from the transmission to the distribution side. A standard grid as seen as, let's say, maybe 10 years, five years back, uh, without having decentralized energy generation. So obviously, meanwhile, we have wind, uh, wind parks, uh, PV parks, uh, feeding in on the MV side. Uh, and we do see a lot of photovoltaic also on the low voltage side. Um, with that, what we see is that we have issues on the voltage stabilization. And um, one of the solutions we, we as Shell Electric can propose is having a self-regulated transformer, which you see a photo of it. Uh, our name of this uh, product is Minera s -Crit. So um, if we if we have a look at uh, the all, let's say in a nutshell, this um, so we, we see that we see more and more uh, the expansion of uh, of decentralized power generation. Uh, we have we will see in future more integration of uh, energy storage devices such as electro um, e cars or whatever, and we do see more and more uh, multi-directional power flow and prosumers. So um, how does it work? So uh, we can stabilize the network with, um, uh, I would call it a tap changer. I think this is the word we no usually name, you know, use, and you will see later on that this is not, uh, let's, say the, let's say, the correct term in our, in our, in our solution. So we're using uh, five, or two, five to nine uh, taps, which are um, enabling the transformer to self-regulate the, the voltage. Um, we will, um, the, the feedback we get from the market, from the application, is that we will most probably need only five uh, on, on, the, on the requirement side from the customers. Uh, this is more than sufficient to, to, to regulate the, the voltage stability. We see three main applications. So the first one, uh, I think we are talking the whole day already about uh, decentralized uh, power generation. So this is uh, for sure one of the first problems, or I think, which um, make generate these voltage fluctuations. A second one is adding an additional load at the end of a, of a distribution line, which can bring us to, um, to a, um, a voltage stabilization need. Or on the third side, which is then more on the industrial side, that we see um, the, uh, the power stability, the voltage stability is not there, uh, which is in line with the requirement of, of our industrial customers. So having a look at the graph, which you see on the right-hand side, this is uh, on the, the, uh, the line which you see on the lower side, the plug line, uh, is um, the one which you, you will normally see when, if you distribute your, um, uh, the energy with a, a non-regulated transformer. Um, so you see the, um, um, the, uh, uh, the decrease of the voltage level, and you see here the voltage band, uh, which you, you have agreed also with your customers to deliver energy in plus minus 10%. So um, if we have a look at um, the infeed on, on the medium and, and the low voltage side, so if you see already an infeed on the, on the medium voltage side, you can come to the, to the upper end to the, of the uh, voltage band. If you then add to that um, a infeed on the LV side, this will bring, can bring you to violation of your voltage band. So what we do is, with a self-regulated transformer, we can regulate, depending on the daytime the, um, the, the infeed on the L LV side, we can regulate the, the transformer that you uh, stay always in the, um, in the voltage band, which has been agreed to plus minus 10%. So um, obviously this is a solution which you can use for smart substations, so including all communication, but also in order if you want to, to upgrade your existing substations. Uh, we do have solutions going up to uh, 1,000 kVA, so 1 MVA, and up to 36 kV, covering the complete uh, voltage levels. Uh, we have, uh, um, for uh, some requirements in, in Europe, we see that we have parallel transformers. So we're seeing, looking at uh, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, we see a lot of parallel operations. And we can, can do this as well with that. And uh, we can fit these transformers into existing substations. Though they're not bigger, much bigger than, than the standard ones, you, you know. So we can put them in, stand, in, in standard existing substations. Beyond that, it's already a proven product. So it's, uh, it's uh, an innovation we, we, we started to do some, some, some time back. And it's now it's completely and fully type tested. 
and uh, we have installations connected uh, also here in France uh, since uh, 2013 already. So, what are the benefits of the solution? If you look on the right-hand side, these, uh, these photos of the uh, different elements we, we have in our transformer, you will most probably see things you, you already know. You see a transformer with standard active parts. You see a contactor on, on the lower side, um, which is uh, the one we, we use for tap changing. You see an electronic part, which is a PLC, um, a standard Schneider PLC, uh, called Modicon. And we do see an, um, a human a machine interface, which is a Magali screen, again, a Schneider electric product. What you don't see is a tap changer. Now, you most probably have uh, both the, uh, expected this. So we, we are not using a tap changer. We're doing, we're doing all this with a booster solution, which is inside the, um, uh, the, 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 the tank of the, of, the, of the transformer. So what do we do? What are we going to have? We're going to have a, an improved network quality um, we can, or we do the voltage regulation uh, according to your needs. So we have uh, three um, pre-registered pre and predefined regulation strategies already in our in our um, uh, PLC, and um, we do have um, communication uh, interfaces as per your needs. Uh, I just listed a few one Modbus, um, IEC um, interfaces. And uh, we can do, uh, we can do it's up to uh, to a customer requirement to go for this uh, man machine interface on a Magali screen. It's quite uh, um, a quite good interactive uh, display, as well as we can uh, provide uh, you with a um, optional HTML interface, which gives you the possibility to from ever you are, wherever you are have a look at your substation and having a look and the like what you see here on the right hand side. This is this H HTML interface. Having a look at your substations see what is the condition of your transformer with all the live data, with the information on, on which tab the transformer is uh, right now, and so on. So it's plug and play for optimized investment costs. So it's, uh, if you don't have communication, just installing it, putting it to service, it's running. Um, it's, uh, it does have the, the, call, the, the current and voltage um, uh, control done inside the transformer. And um, if you're looking at uh, what Schneider can do for you is, um, so first of all, we, we can offer you a product. We offer you a product with uh, reliable products, uh, components used inside that. So standard active parts, standard uh, PLC, robust industrial technique on the, on the PLC as well as on the, on the contactor side. Um, uh, we do have our field service close to your uh, um, to your uh, substations, as well as um, we are not using electromechanical elements inside the tank. So there's no moving element inside the oil tank, so which takes away a big risk you you may face uh, with uh, with such uh, electromechanical uh, things inside the tank. Further on, we are not using power electronics, uh, which we um, we feel that the the risk is uh, too high for failures. And uh, on the um, operation side, uh, we normally see these operations, which are uh, uh, seen by the, on, the, on, the, on the low voltage side, uh, between 10, 15 uh, switches a day. It might be lower, might be uh, higher, but uh, in average, it's around 10, 15 operations a day. So this will sum up to quite a large number during the whole lifetime of, uh, of, the, of such a product, going beyond 200,000. Uh, maybe above. So we do have, uh, with our solution, enough spare on the operation side, allowing for more than uh, for more than one million operations on the electrical side without maintenance. So thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Frank.